Hey guys, it's Canadian Lego Boy, and today I'm doing a review on the Star Wars The Phantom Menace Vintage Collection Darth Maul. And I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but uh, I've been busy, and I just want to give you some updates. I'll be doing Armor Savage Repress and Chewbacca, I think today, and I'll be doing a review on the UNSC, the old Warthog and the Brute Prowler that I got yesterday on sale at Zeller's. Um, I know you don't have that in the U.S., but if you live in Canada and you want to get the Brute Prowler, Prowler, it's $12 at Zeller's. So without further ado, let's get started. So today I'm doing my review on this table. I used to do the reviews right there, actually. But today I just built a table, so I'll be doing it here. So let's start off. With the packaging. So the packaging, as you can see, says Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Warning, at the top corner, ages four and up. Star Wars The Phantom Menace in the nice vintage. And it says Darth Maul, the blue, and then an awesome picture of Darth Maul. And then that draw for the big Darth Maul um, uh, statue thing. And here is the back. Shows all the figures. I have Anakin, Qui Gon, Obi Wan, and Darth Maul, but I think I have the Pod Racer. I can't remember, but yeah. Now, the accessories he comes with his binoculars from Tatooine, a lightsaber with no uh, saber in it, his cape, which gives him a really in the movie, you really have that texture. This makes it, it feels just like the texture it would have, and is plastic hood. And here's the actual, actual figure. Let me focus. And there he is. And I'll give you a 360 of him. Oops. <laughs> this, the vintage don't come with sands, which kind of suck. But awesome face. And I keep turning as a communicator. Aw. Oh, I'll, just, I'll just show it. So here's his face. Oops, sorry. Focus. There we go. And here's his soft goods cape, and he's super articulated. And his red lightsaber, as you can see, comes in half, and you just put it in like this. But you gotta be very careful, because you could probably easily break that. And I'll show you what he looks like with the cape on and his hood. This figure is just amazing, and I highly recommend it. Um, it. There's just something about it. It's just really good. It's the, like the best, best Darth Maul. Here's what he looks like. With his cape and hood. The hood doesn't really fit, but it's okay. So, now I'm going to give you a 360 view of the figure. Like I tried before, but failed. And my friend said he really liked the shots I do. I put my finger there. And yeah, so guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Star Wars The Phantom Menace Darth Maul. Um, please like the video if you like the video. <laughs> and it really helps. And don't forget to subscribe. That also helps. I, I want to hit 100 subscribers by the end of 2012. So that's my goal. I'll be doing videos every week. And I'm going to keep this consistent, my channel, because it hasn't been. I said it was going to be, and I sort of was consistent. But I... I obviously didn't, um, I wasn't being consistent, so, 
Yep. And thanks for watching, guys.